Hey everybody, Gnome here, server X160, best in the west, all the lithos. Anyhow, well, I wanted to do the next episode of the Gnomish School of Strategy today. Talk about another team I'm developing. I really wanted to get into my energy drain and energy control team, but I've been playing with one that's a lot more fun and might even be able to test it here in the Valley of Conquerors a little bit. So... Uh, let's give it a roll. Uh, I'll let you know kind of what's going on here. So we got two new um, or three new big things coming out uh, here in like two hours. We have the Kivak clan. I did a video on my initial thoughts, pre-release thoughts, so I haven't got a chance to play with them yet. And then uh, Aiko, the uh, Bloodcraft legend that's going to be on this Convoke um, event. Not sure exactly how that's going to be yet. Hopefully I can get her. It'd be nice. If not, Goat Games, you want to hook me up so I can do a good video on her? Anyhow. Um, and then we also have the newest sprite that will be changing the game big time. So I'll explain some of my traits and how I'm going to be building up some of my teams to get ready for that. So first of all, let's start off with my new team comp. By the way... It involves Ashmane, so I ended up resetting um, Scarlet so that I could just get some uh, books and get some good equipment so y'all can see um, uh, Ashmane in, um, in action. And so you could see my Ashmane has a 2010, 15, 11. Those, were, those are my highest level items for Bloodcraft Legend. All level 15 um, abilities. Let me explain some of them to you real quick. <clears throat> His passive, he starts off with 200 extra energy. Team him up with Ambitious, which I haven't done yet, but I will be doing. That's 500 energy at the start of the battle. Upon taking skill damage, the caster absorbs 45% damage and converts the absorbed damage into their constitution for 3 seconds. So... Every time the enemies are using skills on him, he's just turning it into uh, hit points. Um, the active continuously spends for two seconds, dealing total damage equal to 520% of the strength to nearby enemies. The caster recovers constitution, 30% of damage dealt. Enemy targets affected cannot cast ultimate attacks for the next two seconds. And that's going to be a big vital part of this group composition that I have going Finally, his ultimate is binds a random enemy among the three enemies with the highest strength. So, chooses one randomly from the, the three with the highest strength. Lasts for 12 seconds. It takes the enemy out of battle, basically, dealing da total damage to 1,600% of the uh, Ashmane's strength. Uh, during the bind, they can only do normal attacks. They cannot receive effects from their allies, anything. And their constitution recovery being reduced by 80%. If the target is killed during the bind, the caster strength is increased by 20% for the entire battle's duration. So similar to female Dravapala's ult, if someone dies while the curse is on him, she gets like 20% strength for the rest of the battle. So this guy's pretty cool, pretty straightforward. The traits we have on him are very basic. I will be putting ambitious and focused on him just so that he can get his bind off ASAP in a battle. And hopefully it takes out the male water and sun but if not at least it's getting somebody out of the battle for 12 seconds so it's got last legacy if someone dies and i'm teaming them up with mel choir so hopefully we could see some of that in action uh lionheart more hits he gets he gets up to 15 percent total damage increase honorable energetic brutal the three staples kind of deal i'll level my scarlet up more later i'm a little ocd about it <clears throat> so let's introduce you to the squad some of these are missing them just because uh, I just I just took um, Phoenix out. I rebinded her with a different champion. So when you do that, you have to make sure to re fix your or fix your lineups. So here's my my squads right here. You can see my pride and joy, the roster nine. My uh, the one I've been telling you about that was in my first episode. I'm working on it still, and we're about to do. We just did a mar uh, might challenge, and so I got a whole bunch of fodder to do a bunch of marriage. I'm hoping to get Mel Segarak. I think he's at Vigor level 36. 
I'm hoping to get them up to 45 at least. If I can get them up further, that'd be nice. But I'd really like him to be able to compete. And then I wouldn't have to have Mel Water and Son in that group and they can just take off by themselves. Um, my second group is actually the Mel Water and Son group, Roster 11. And they, I have the female silken crown in it because she is amazing. And she goes really well with Mel Water and Son. And she gets rid of enemies. She pulls them into Phoenix's uh, active, which is really nice, and bunches them up for Phoenix's ult, um, bunches them up for female Lume's active, and not to mention uh, female Spider's ult is awesome. It does a ton of damage, especially if there's only one enemy left on the battlefield because it'll hit that one enemy with all six of the strands, just doing ungodly amounts of damage combined with Phoenix's... Uh, HP reduction or healing reduction and combined with uh, male water and sun's pulses. Oh, so good. All right. But, oh yeah. And then there's the Corbett one. I haven't gotten, or did I do a video on that one? I forget. Anyhow, female Galabar, male Ho, longevity. Uh, my male Corbett isn't high enough level yet. I'm about to level him pretty soon. Hopefully get him to 13 or 14 stars. That'd be nice. But here is the group we're going to be focusing on right here. Roster 12. So Roster 13 is my energy control group. I really like it a lot. It's, I'll tell you about it in the next video. But we're going to focus on this Roster 11 right now. Ah, delicious. Water. Uh, very dry here in Colorado. Need, need to keep the hydration up. So Roster 12. Let's look at it. So here's my idea about it. I started thinking, well, Mel Lume is going to be really pivotal in groups going forward with this new sprite. I addressed it in my pre-release video. And mostly what happens is this new sprite makes it where your enemies can't cast an ultimate in the first 10 seconds. And that's at level one. So as soon as you get that on your sprite roster, I assume a lot of people are going to be using it. I'll be using it. And so when that happens, it limits your teams heavily. Well, Mel Lume's active basically heals everybody. And while it heals, excuse me, while it heals, it also dispels. And in the description of the sprite's ability says that it can be dispelled. So, Mel Lume, as an active, should be able to dispel that quickly enough so that Mel Ashmane's early ult will go off. Uh, might take away Ambitious if the active doesn't go off soon enough. Well, we'll find out. But we need the active to go off to dispel the sprite from the whole team. And as soon as that happens, we have Mel Ashmane ulting... We potentially have a uh, female shark who will have focused, I believe. She has cunning as well. Uh, brutal. And um, right now she has ambitious, but I might be changing that. Um, but she'll be ulting and by uh, eating somebody, so they're out for five seconds. Uh, male, um, male choir goes really well with Ashmane, because if he dies, Ashmane gets a lot of energy. So we can use more of those ults to just seclude more people from the battle. And then Female Bloom is awesome just because at the beginning of the fight, she's way back here on the back line. And then Female Shark should swoop down, eat one of these people, either the one that Female Bloom's attacking or the other one. And it's okay if it hits the one Female Bloom's attacking because it should... Um, take away female bloom's uh petals that she's putting on them or not take them away but just temporarily put them on hold because it might also be on cooldown and so female bloom can then head over to the p5 position and start whooping on them and uh disrupting basically female bloom is on my team for the disruption i will be putting uh steadfast on her brutal um Oh, something pretty interesting. Hexproof. 20% chance to silence for two seconds. It goes really well with this comp because 
her active, the shark's active, silences. Ashmane's active, basically silences ults. Uh, choir's ult silences. And female bloom not only puts people to sleep, but I'm putting hexproof on her so she'll be silencing too. And I'm debating if I should put hexproof on male lume too. Just to add a little extra disruption to the group. The idea of just adding so much silence and stun and just, and, um, just taking people out of the game for the most part. Uh, you got the stun from Mel Choir's active, his shield. And again, also, I'm doing these different compositions so that if you have some of these champs or all of these champs, you can consider some of this in your teams as well. Alright, so... Anything. Oh, yeah. So, I don't have the right skills on them right now, or traits, but I'll go over what I do have, just so that you can kind of have an idea. So, right now, I have Ambitious and Cunning Honor, Energetic and Brutal. I don't think you need Honorable as much as Energetic, if you're going to use either one of them, because... When she swallows somebody with her ultimate, that person takes 30% of her damage. Well, if she has honorable on, she takes less damage, so that person receives less damage. Well, if she has more hit points, that person in her belly still takes uh, a lot of damage. Full damage is what I'm saying. So, and she's only got level 21 ambitious. I have level 22 available now. Um... Let me kind of show you here what the plan is. All right, it's the resurrection team right here. So, male choir, he's going to have brave on him. He has rapid shot right now. He's going to have agile brutal. He has energetic. Energetic goes well with him, but the thing is, you want him to die. If he dies, like all of his good stuff, you know, goes off. Even though I don't have dutiful on him anymore. So I might change that brutal to an energetic, actually, because, and I'll explain in just a moment. So let's go back to male choir. So brave, rapid shot, agile, and that will be, I'll just fix it on the fly. Thanks for being patient with me. Oh, energetic. There we go. All right. So the equipment, we got mostly level 15s. Little less defense because the the helm isn't full there. The skills we only have them at level eleven. I I showed you her current trait, so cunning will be going on to a different champion. I think male Lume will be getting cunning. Let me look. So I don't mean to take you back and forth. Uh, nope. Female crooked fin. It's oh oh sorry. We were gonna look at. Oh well, let's do her first. Uh, so combat fact. Fatigue, that's her clan trait. She, I'm going to give her Steadfast because she's going to have a lot of strength. And then with the Brave at the beginning and then the Steadfast going off throughout the battle, I think that'll be a good amount of protection for her. And so she'll also have Focused and so she'll kind of ramp up quickly to be able to swallow somebody. That's what we're looking for here. And so right now she has Ambitious instead of Steadfast. She has Energetic instead of um, the other one we were just talking about. Alright. So let's go over to Male Choir. I gave, I gave all these characters some better items and stuff so I can do a better video for you. Like a, a Valley of Conquest. So he's got Dutiful, Rapid Shot, Brutal, Energetic. Dutiful's when he dies, everybody gets some energy. But in my final build, you saw he doesn't have that anymore. That's going to be Brave instead, which gives everybody an initial shield at the beginning of battle. And then he's going to have Energetic instead of Brutal, because his abilities are... Um, he gets a 5 second shield. It, it absorbs damage equal to his max constitution, so you want Energetic. During the duration, all enemies take a certain amount of damage. It's off of strength. It's weak. Once it breaks, it stuns for two seconds and removes all their buffs, which people underestimate that. That's a really, like if they have a female Lionstone buff, that removes it. 
This one is if anyone dies, he gets healed. And if he dies, if someone else is killed, he'll come back. And then he, when he comes back, he also have taunts, I believe. Which is pretty cool, tank-like. And then his ult, he just starts playing his guitar. Oh yeah, something else with his passive that's in, important, the very beginning of it. Each of his uh, basic attacks, each attack kills the castle by 5% of max constitution. So that's why I have agile on him to attack faster. And then that's why I have energetic on him so his max constitution's higher. So each hit, he's just like gaining a ton of health. And then not only that, but uh, Mayo Lume has Devout on the team. And I hear it's broken right now, so it lasts all battle instead of the first 10 seconds. So each of his hits will actually heal him for more. And then this is his final one. He plays music. He becomes basically almost unkillable while he's playing the music. And this is only at level 11. At level 15, he's probably just beastly. And then also, it silences people... It deals damage if the ally or if the enemy dies from it. It gives the male choir and another ally energy. Like this has been one of my favorite characters for a long time. That's why I have 37 vigor on him. But sadly, um, I just never leveled him. There were other tanks that I needed to get up there. And so, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you real quick about her abilities. Her first one is. Uh, she swings her weapons to attack nearby enemies, dealing damage to some portion of her strength. Also silences them and reduces their damage by 30% for 3 seconds at the max level. Cooldown 8 seconds. Each of the caster's normal attacks reduces the cooldown by 10%. That's so nice. So you always want that going off. Just silencing people, reducing their damage. It's Her active is one of the best actives. So her passive is... Uh, increases her strength, strength resistance, and attack speed when enemy's constitution is lower than 90%. And so uh, they go up to a max of, I think it's like a lot, you know, basically. And they're all stackable. So if the enemy's team is all dying at the same time, she's just wailing on everybody. So the less enemies there are, the, the worse off that passive is. And then the ult, she swallows somebody, she deals damage to them. They lose energy, and then they bear a certain percentage of her damage. So, And they're out of the game, so she's really powerful. All right, Male Lume, uh, who we're bringing back because of the sprite, like I told you. His traits, he's got the lower level hulking. Uh, he's got the rapid shots, which I'm taking off of him because the Male Choir has it. Um, I'm giving him... Uh, tch, 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 let's look. Male Lume gets Steadfast. Hulking, Devout, and Brutal. So Steadfast, kind of because he does have that Brutal. Brutal's going to help him with the Brave at the beginning of the match. He's uh, going to have the Steadfast keep him alive. Uh, not to mention, I told you, his active skill totally defeats that Sprite. So all your people can ult really quickly. He can resurrect people if they die with his ult, which he always casts on himself. Because this is a really tanky team, except for Female Bloom. Um, and then every five seconds he heals. By the way, that doesn't matter if someone's swallowed by the shark. That doesn't matter if somebody has Ashmane's ult on them or if they're sleeping from female bloom. It's always a heal going off. And he has devout, so his active heals and gets bonus from devout. His passive heals gets bonus from devout. Like, Male Lume was always good, but he just has no offensive abilities. And so, if you wanted to put, like, a hex proof on him uh, as he attacks, just to kind of add something with his auto attack, that would be fantastic. I think you'd get a lot out of that. For for example, the, Ez, uh, the Ezdrile, or goodness, the archers that have the frozen arrows, that have the clan trait that stuns, fearsome. Uh... That thing, even though it's only 10%, it goes off quite a bit. You would, you'd be surprised how much that ability goes off. And then, uh, who was the last one of our group? Ma Female Bloom. And uh, the abilities she will get are Steadfast, Agile to attack faster, so she can get more of her uh, petals on people, and get more hex proofs to go off. And then I already showed you Ash Mains. Uh, so, and right now... 
She's just got tardiness, sanguine, brutal, honorable. Uh, I really like the black look on her. That's why I'm going to put Steadfast on her. I think it'll still give her that same look. And then she's got decent gear, all level 10. One of them's not refined. And her skills, uh, her active, she gains temporary immune and goes behind a random enemy, dealing damage to him and everybody she passes through. Uh, when they get five layers of dream effect, they'll be consumed to sleep for four seconds, dealing extra damage and restoring energy. Uh, the target sleep is immune to dream for the next four seconds, which she, she's amazing. She's like a CC goddess here. So I put Agile on her to get more pedals on people. Her ult increases her attack speed, shoots pedals out on everybody, and then she gains some immunity with some AoE attack. And then her passive, she, uh, just goes in another straight line. Oh yeah, this is the straight line. The active is just appearing behind people. This is her putting dream on people that reduces their attack speed and movement speed, each layer of the pedals. And so she's really awesome too. Alright, so I got the team first over in the um, <clears throat> Dungeon Descent. But let me see if I can do any Valley of Conquest battles real quick for you. Um, I might have to kind of whittle the teams down a little bit. See, like, look at this. Someone came up here. And there's Art. He's too powerful for me. I have to kind of ramp up to be able to kill Art. He's too good. All right. No one at that gate anymore. Um, let's see. I think Art came from this gate down here. And this is the one I'm going to focus on. But Zerion's really tough. So, I don't... But, if, if I can kill Zerion... I can bring my other team in to fight three battles after that and see how I do. And sadly, they still have two of the middle shrines, including the main one. Let me see if there's any way I can ramp up here before I go in on after this guy. Nope, I'm just going to have to try to take out Art. I don't think I can do it, but we'll see. So you can get to this gate with the minimum uh, act activity points. So I'll do that because he was sent back to home base. And I'm, by the way, I, I need to kill that Zerion uh, character so that... Uh, there we go. Okay, coming for you, Art. You're probably going to whoop me, but here goes nothing. Da, 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 da. I'll turn times two off. My Askavar goes in. Active on Reaper. People are pretty low life. My Water and Sun needs to pulse. There he goes. All right, counter in Zerion's pulses. We got... All right, Dawnbreaker's ult went off. We're going to get an execute. We're going to get an execute. Oh, I thought we were going to. There. We, come on, Soul Reaper. Get in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's so strong. Soul Reaper still hasn't ulted yet for some weird reason. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got Art, though. Good job. You're really strong, dude. Your team is awesome. I like it. All right, so now what we're going to do is get send another weakling up to the gate. Hey, go take their position. Yes, sir. I'm going, sir. And then, with group number one, we're going to try to take out Zerion. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, that last battle was just so bad. My Reaper didn't even go off. It was just awkward. All right, here we go. Coming for you, Zerion. You're strong. Thanks for being in my, thanks for being in my uh, movie show. All right, here we go. Ask of Argen. There goes Reaper with a little ult action. Male Water and Sun getting Reaper healed up. Uh, Reaper just executed uh, Sunbolt. Executed Water and Sun. Executed Phoenix. Ex about to execute. Yeah, there we go. And then so I'm not going to go to the next battle so that I can bring in that new team that I've been working on and see if we can maybe... And they, we have a male Lume, so we should be able to run at least those next three teams, I'm hoping. 
And so, oh, this is so painful to watch. Either way, I might come in and clear the gate with this team afterwards. So, okay. I just stayed back with that. And look, he's still got some energy to be able to get in there. And then here's the team we were just dealing with and talking with. We got them in the right lineup. Kind of, I'll explain that when we get into the next battle. So, And it's got like two minutes of a refresher. And by the way, I don't need to go anywhere. So I'm going to clear up these yellow ones. This group right here. Once I try to clear these three enemies, I'll be done. And so it's okay if I just spend a little extra energy to get those points. We're in last place anyways. We're getting whooped. Alright, let's look who the enemies are. We have one minute. Oh, Art's second team. Oh, man. 15 star male Corbett is going to demolish me. Sunbolt is going to demolish me. I don't think that this is going to go very well. I probably should have killed that team also with my primary team. And I think I'll still do that. And then let my other team fight Luf Lufe, because I think that the uh, skill levels will be a little closer in line. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, man. The, that team is way too powerful. And I know we might not have it all built up and ready to go, but it's so strong. All right, we got a few seconds here. And look, I'm at 88 or 88 million for that team that's going against them. So I think the other one's just a little too much. All right, here we go. Bringing my main team in again, just to clear Art. And Art, major hats off to you. You just have really great teams with really strong characters. Boom, boom. I'm scared of you is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to hit you with my primary, my current primary team. All right. We're not going to continue. We're going to wait two more minutes. And now we can go in with the smaller team, the one that we're testing. And this is good because I really wanted to get some Valley of Conquerors in here. And so you could see we're going against Lufe. And it's some older champs or some champs that they haven't had a chance to vigor as much or get as high level. So, uh, or put proper traits on. And... Potentially with the one after that, even though there's a Soul Reaper and all sorts of good stuff. So we'll see what happens. Remember, my male Lume is only level 560. Um, my male Choir is only level 520. But we'll see. If we can take out one or both of these teams, I think we're going to be on to something. And then don't forget... We'll have the new sprite in the next installment and after the next patch. So the new sprite will prevent the enemy from being able to use any ultimates for the first 10 seconds. And so that should be really powerful for this team and for all my teams except maybe my primary team. But like I mentioned, the male Lume being able to dispel that sprite is so powerful. Like, I looked around, the only other person I could find was Female Prophet, or Dawn Breaker. But she has to use her ult to remove debuffs. So, if y'all know of anybody else, put it in the comments. We got 30 seconds here till we can make siege on this uh, gate again. <clears throat> All right. 15 seconds. I'm excited. And I'll probably come in afterwards and try to clear the gate. Let's look where I'm at on the merit. I think I'm number two. Oh, I'm number one. All right. 763. Godzilla's insane, but the blue team isn't that uh, active. Um, yellow is number one. They've got everybody beat by a lot. Like every one of their members are active and that's Nubarix, Zeroin, Art, Pagan, After Dawn, Dare True, like Rock Pin, like they're all active as opposed to like my team. And I'm totally going to call them out in this video because I think that's only fair. 
um, and I'll continue to do this in the future for people that don't want to participate because it kind of ruins the game. So look at Flash and me. We're killing it here. Uh, the only two members on the team that are above 100,000 merit. And then we even have people like Mateo and Lillian who haven't even played except maybe like one time over an entire week. And it's not really fair to everybody else. So go games, please fix this. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, get excited. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see how the team does. So male choir's at the top, so he'll take the most damage. So hopefully he'll die. Uh, look, look at all this silence that my team's going to dish out. So there's Ash putting some silence on people. Female Bloom's in the back. Hassle in the stone thrower. Male Lume's just put his ult on himself, I believe. Uh, he's because I hope he did because he's about to die either way. Oh, yeah, he got it. Nice. So he should resurrect. Oh, he got the heal off. Um, what do we got? Oh, male Lume's down. Male Ash is just. I don't think I have enough damage right now. Even though they don't even have a healer, I don't think. I just didn't have enough damage to really do anything. Now, they might not be able to kill my Ash, but I'm just a little sad right now. I'm going to have to revisit this team once I've got a little bit, uh, got the proper traits on them, have the proper, a little bit more vigor maybe on a couple of them. I mean, the nice part is they're not going to kill Ash Main. Probably, maybe not even kill, um, oh no, they're going to kill Mel Choir. See a male Choir. But yeah, I don't think they'll kill Ashman. He's too strong. Every skill they use on him, he just heals. And do y'all want to just wait and watch me clear this, this gate? I'll, I'll give it a go. Even though they have all the shrine buffs, so it makes it really difficult. I like to have at least a couple of them so that I can, uh, you know, attempt to live. Oh, sorry. Let me put it on times two. I was wasting time there. I mean, look at this team. It does great damage. Female Stone Thrower does a ton. Male Bloom does a ton. It just... Ash absorbs all that skill damage. And I mean, the nice part about having them on a team is there's a high chance that you could time it, time out the match and get the win. But I was the aggressor in this case, so that didn't work. All right. Those guys went back to the main base. We'll see what we got here. Oh, it's just about ready for the main team to come flying in. Perfect timing. Because I didn't have it at times two and all that stuff. So the timer got to start clicking down. All right, here we go. They even have... Oh, I guess both teams have initial energy, but... All right, there goes my Reaper just destroying everybody. Execute, execute. You in the back coming for you. No one can survive. Yep, that's death for you. It's coming to everybody on the enemy team. So here's the other Lufe, the other team that I really wanted to fight with the other one, but it just didn't work out. I'll show you all some Dungeon Descent. I kind of, Then you can kind of see how the team works together a little bit. Um, I'll show you um, a couple of arena battles with them since I've got them all loaded up um, with gear and with um, skill points in regards to like Ash Main. Uh, but I try to have my Phoenix and my Scarlet maxed out with their abilities and let them have the Mythic gear because they're really strong. And I have more Vigor on them. I haven't really spent much time on Ash Main. But again, my main team, without having um, a Phoenix, I think, or one of my teams without having a Phoenix, I went against a team with an Ash Main. Had my Male Water and Sun and everybody. Well, that Ashman could just stay alive forever. It blew me away. Ugh. Yeah, so he ended up timing out my team and making making me look bad. Okay, there's Female Spider bringing my Dawnbreaker in. She's awesome. I'm trying to level mine right now, but she's only like level 320 or 360 maybe. But she's she's one of my favorite newer champs. Female Almot too. I've been really needing to... 
get up there because she i think she has a ton of potential to just lead a group and just tons of single target damage and you team her up with some of the newer champs coming out like uh aiko and aiko increases damage taken from enemies so team that up with someone like that oh man it's just non-stop yeah female alma she she does a percent max health in each physical attack normal attack it's just insane quack 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 all right just go okay this one's this person's tough i don't know who it is but they got really high might come on get a, oh executions begin once the executions begin normally i'm pretty good the problem is is my male dawn breaker i think has like 44 vigor my um female hoe has like 42 vigor so they are kind of my weaker links even though my male Askavarg is only 24 vigor <laughs> he's so low on the vigor you don't need him to have high vigor which is nice because i can focus that on male segarak because male segarak remember he's going to be taking the place of male water and sun which is awesome because i want to have a completely viable team without having a male water and sun in it like, I feel like male water and sun's kind of a, a handicap, a meta. And so, if you can ever build a team that can beat water and suns that don't have a water and sun in it, I think you're really on the right path. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish with my current team building. Uh, and as you can see, male Dawnbreaker's ult goes off all the time. And when that does, my whole team gets like, I think, 25% more damage reduction. So if I don't have honorable on one of my people, it basically gives me a temporary honorable. And not only that, but it also gives everybody a bunch of energy. Oh, we're both pulsing at the same time. This is going to be a close one. Here comes my Dawnbreaker. Is, do I get an execute in? Oh, there's... Oh, there, Dawnbreaker's ult went off. Soul Reaper. Water and Sun's pulsing. They're fighting. The Water and Sun's are fighting each other. Oh, got theirs. Oh, man, that was good. All right, Female Ho went down the gutter, though. Let's heal the team up before the next fight. Come on, guys. All right. We didn't really... Oh, let's see if we can keep going. Let's try to clear this tower. This is going to be a tough team, and we don't have Female Ho anymore. But if we can get... Okay, there's male Dawnbreaker's ult going off. Ooh, this Phoenix is about to just... Ooh, man. Oh, this is going to be my death right here, y'all. Oh, yep. They got me. Unless my just... Oh, they took out their water and sun. Unless my... Nope. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping. Uh, let's see who that was. Just to give them some, a credit, some shout out here. Because uh, let's see how close I was down that gate. Oh, there were only two left. Oh, it was Zeroin, of course. The person I beat earlier. Yeah, who I beat first off, I think. That's really funny. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's really, really funny. Um, okay, so bo all my teams are dead. Let's move on. Let me look it on time. All right. I want you to see how this team we've been talking... I got it up to level 23... Got things cleared out a little bit so you can get an idea of how this goes. Okay, so male choir in the P1 position, so he takes the most damage. I want him to die, or I want him to take damage because he just heals up unstoppably. Like when he's level 700, he'll never have issues. And so there's male Lume, he keeping everyone healed. Look at all these silences going off at like all the time. There goes the shark. Uh, female blooms in the background though. Keeping people asleep. Uh, shark silences. Oh, male choir silences. Ashman silences. So many silences. Can't even keep them all straight. And as I mentioned, with the new sprite coming out, another option. I mentioned this in my other video, my pre release video. But another option for people to do is to, um, well, my buddy Joe, um, anyhow, here we go, let's, let's fight the boss. So, uh, another way to fight the new sprite is to add pure hearted, I believe that's the name of the skill. 
It's when you attack the champion, there's a chance to remove all debuffs. And that's what the new sprite's ability is, is a debuff. Give me. <clears throat> uh, all right. So you can see... And Askavarg is keeping his ult normally on somebody. Or, sorry, not Askavarg, Ashmane. Uh, you can see how many female bloom petals there are on everybody. And remember, when there's five, she puts them to sleep. She just put that female A's on to sleep. Uh, and just... I don't have her buffed yet. She's going to be really nice. Because with Agile on her, so she's just attacking fast. With some more hex proof, so that they're not able to get their cast off. There's the shark coming in for the eat. Like I said, this, this group is just highly under-leveled, but I think that the synergy is going to all be there whenever they're fighting some uh, big teams. Thing is, I'm probably going to need 40 to 50 vigor on each one to make them viable. Like, even to have a chance at kind of late-game team building, which is a bummer. See, that was a mistake with the female bloom programming. She ulted right there at the beginning and did her AoE ult, uh, and that was kind of messed up. Kind of like with Mel Spider, you don't want to put an Ambitious on him because he might start the battle without any webs down. Well, his ultimate requires webs to be down to use it, and so it's pointless with an Ambitious on him. So if you are running the new sprite and you're trying to uh, use all your ultimates after 10 seconds, basically, consider Mel Spider without any um, focused or ambitious because he could have a lot of potential in that. So, well, oh, perfect. There's the boss. Let's see what we got here. All right, male choir, shield's about to go on. There it is, the little uh, green one. Uh, male Lume did his little circle and dispelled everybody and healed. Um, there goes the shark, going to grab the girl in the back. See how female Lux. Female Bloom is just harassing this Folger back here. Not not the strongest female Bloom, like I said. She's, she's lacking, but imagine her beefed out. Like, she is a very annoying champ to deal with. Especially if you have a form of healing for her. And in this case, with Mel Lume healing a whole bunch, I think that she's going to go really well with him. And maybe even her or the Shark might protect Mel Lume... Which didn't work in the other one, but we might have some other luck with it in the future. Um, Alright, let's do a couple arenas. Let's see where we're at on time. Alright, 42 minutes, so that's perfect. We'll do 10 minutes of arena, and I think that that will be a nice episode. Uh, someone probably killed me again in uh, Valley. Alright, even though an arena challenge is coming up, I'll use a couple a couple of my tickets. Alright, so let's... Alia, that seems like someone who's pretty similar. In, um, she's got a great team too. Really nice synergy. Uh, no water and sun though, so that... That could be helpful. Alright, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Female Bloom right to the back. Boom. Excuse me. All right, there went the shark. Uh, don't know who he, who she grabbed. Ashmane's kind of been... Oh, Phoenix is about to go off. Oh, but good. The Bloom will per block from Phoenix's ult. Uh, the, oh, here goes the Scarlet now. And, and the Divala. Oh, man. Male Choir's taking some damage, but that's okay. Uh, this is a fun battle so far. There goes Female Ho preventing their damage, and there goes their Scarlet again. About to kill my Male Choir, which is good. I want him to die. Come on, Male Choir, die. Uh, female Bloom going off again. My Female Shark taking a lot of damage, but remember, she's going to have a Steadfast on her whenever I have her complete. So she should be able to block a lot of that. Oh, there goes the male choir getting the silences going. Lume just healed everybody. The shark just ate. All right, there goes Davala hitting us all again. 
This is a fun battle. Here goes Scarlet hitting us all again. Oh, God, that did a lot. There goes Lume putting his ult on himself so he can resurrect. Scarlet is just staying alive right now. I hope Ashmane... All right, there goes a shark. Let's get one of them out here. Get Scarlet down. If she ults again, it might kill... Oh, yeah! <clears throat> Ashmane ult. All right, here comes Davala right back out. Uh, uh, silenced, silenced, and dead. Oh, man, that was a fun battle. And I'd like to go against someone with a lower power level, but with a water and sun. So we're looking for somebody maybe around 80 to 90 million. Liam might actually be a really good battle. Yeah, look at that. All 700 male water and sun. Most likely going to beat me, but let's find out what happens, shall we? Male water and sun is just so good. Female Bloom kind of came into the fray, didn't stay in the back. Looking for that shark to pick up that male water and sun. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Boom, the shark eaten. So we're not getting the pulses right now. It gives Lume time to heal. We got Ashmane's ult went off on the, oh, nice, on the Bloom. But Female Ho came with her ult to kind of protect him. Male Choir with his ult, it's kind of keeping him alive. Female Bloom trying to use her ult to stay alive a little longer. Male Lume just needs to get a heal. Oh, nice, good heal. Bring us back into the fray. All right, their water and sun is pulsing again, healing up their whole team. Oh, no, a Scarlet with it. Okay, there goes the shark. Hopefully she gets... Oh, nice, Ashmane ult on the shark. Or, okay, now we'll see if the Ashmane ult will still last the full duration after water and sun comes out of the shark. All right. Er, did I Did I kill his water and sun? Where's his water and sun? Oh, maybe died from Ashmane's ult inside the shark. I don't know, but that could be a cool combo if that works out like that. Okay, so that's one less to worry about. Gonna take out the choir with the shark right now. Yump! There goes uh, Lume healing everybody up. Ashmane's ult. Release the... Yeah! Good job, team! That was awesome. Oh, dude. Good job, Liam. You got a good team. I appreciate it. I'm trying to build my team to be able to counter male water and suns. Failing. Let's see what you got here. And then how's mine? Mine's 88. But like I said, oh, they're down one. You need to get, you're missing a player. Failing. All right, let's see who else we got. All right, all right. Come on, give me some... Give me, these are all awesome players, but I need somebody like right there around 90. Well, we'll, 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 we'll punch up Muffmeister. This dude's tough, so I'm most likely going to die. But I thought that was going to happen last match, and lo and behold, so here we go again. Maybe this time Male Choir will actually die. He's way too good, even at level 520. Okay, Female Bloom is back on the Phoenix. Their water and sun is going off now. Oh, shark! And then here's the cool part. Uh, the shark should silence the Phoenix here. Not right there. And, oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Get that water and sun out of here. Come on. Oh. Okay, the Phoenix is about to go off and their water and sun. Oh, here goes a shark again. But I think it's 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 a, the wrong target. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, didn't even get the resurrect off. Got executed by Phoenix. The Lume did. Female Bloom is trying her hardest to to stay alive. Ashmane, of course, still just a complete and utter beast. Like, there goes Shark. Shark dead, though. Oh! They got the female Lume. Or the oh, male Water and Sun. So who do we... Male Choir stood back up. He's back in the fray. All right, who are we looking at right now? It's that phoenix that, that's the problem. And with the lion stone, that phoenix is just demolishing. Oh, man, with the executes. Oh, jeez, that was tough. Oh, there's the lion stone ult again. Oh, that skin is so cool. 
I tried to get it, but I failed. I spent more than I would have liked to for not end up getting it, but it's all right. Maybe one day. I still think it's really cool. Oh, Ashman, are you going to be able to... Nope, the execute. Good job, Muffmeister. Muffmaster. See, that's who I needed. I needed a rumor right there. But I think that'll be good. And I want to remind you, too, about my Guardian Stone situation for these teams. So, remember, <clears throat> the team I just had was all over the place. So... Uh, Bloodcraft Legend, they do have max strength, they do have max damage resistance, but they're missing hit, dodge, they're missing con. Look at the warrior over here. The warrior is like missing everything. I'm trying to get to 300 of the greens so I can get the strength up there. And then it doesn't even have enough damage reduction, not enough hit or dodge. So my warriors are highly underdone. My marksmen need some help, but basically... My assassins are my most guardian stones, my mages are my next, then my bloodcraft legends, then my tank, and then my marksmen, and then finally my warrior is the last one, which is sad. <clears throat> I just, there haven't been many warriors I've liked, but female Almat, female shark, I really like female shark, I think if you use her kind of how I presented her today, she can be really strategic and really fun. Um, who else? There's, there's some really good warriors out there. Like, I'm, I'm trying to level some of these warriors. So, for instance, I went ahead and got my female Drava Paula level 700. Um, uh, well, she was actually my first level 700. And I had to get her to level 700 so I could get Scarlet, have Scarlet level 700. So, here are my teams again. Kind of look at uh, my uh, energy drain and control team that I'm going to show you in my next episode. It's got female Dravapala and female Almat. So it's got two warriors in it. And then I have the female shark going on. I like the male shark. He's got some potential, but he's mostly single target. So you would need to pair him up with another warrior like fem or, sorry, male warbringer that knocks everybody back but one target. And then have that male shark just pounding on that target. Like, that could be really nice. <sighs> Ugh, excuse me. So, now you've seen uh, my first team. My roster 9. You've seen my roster 11, kind of. You saw a modified version of it. I think I had the male bloom in it. And sadly, I don't have a place for the male bloom. So he's in my roster 14, which is kind of my rejects. I love male bloom, but after he was nerfed, he just isn't really feasible. And there's so many bet Like, even female bloom has so much crowd control. And uh, who else can get to the back line? Male Segarak, way more damage than male bloom. And has the stun from his tail, which is really nice. Um, male Yiv even, with a full bar energy drain with his ult. That's insane. So, I'm just having a hard time right now with Male Bloom. I'll find a spot for him. Uh, but either way, that's, that's the video there, and hopefully you liked it. Um, if you did like it, throw a like on the video. It helps with the algorithm. Subscribe if you want to check in on what I got going on every once in a while. And uh, hit the notification button if you want to know when I release these new videos so you can be on top of things like the uh, pre-release for the, um, I like my pre-release notes for everything kind of deal. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you in this with the uh, aisles that we're on. What is this? What level was that? uh 365 yeah good luck a full year so and then i'll go ahead and do probably my probably close to one of my top three champs really i like reaper i like his kit i like everything about him he's horrible in pve really unless it's like guardian defense but look at this look how huge his bar is, his shield, and that's just from his active, and then he just executes everybody, even though they have a ton of life. So it's it's no big deal for the for the Soul Reaper. He doesn't even care. 
and he prevents all the healing. Probably my favorite part of him is his complete healing prevention. I love the execute. It's fun to watch, but that healing prevention is just really... Hey, 365! Maybe I should toss coins right now because I might get lucky. I'm just kidding. Well, that's it for my video, everybody. Thanks again. Enjoy uh, the new clan coming out. I'll have a new video probably with them in it here pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, keep on slaying. I don't know. I kind of just needed a, a slogan or something. Later.